Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I wanted to give a quick update on some tuning changes that I've made for the 8HP70 or essentially to make it better. The changes are actually done on the motor side, but it really affected how my transmission shifts and just drivability. The issue that I think a lot of us are having is that our pedals are tuned to a Jeep Wrangler where they should actually be tuned more so for a charger. So let's say you give 50% pedal in the Jeeps the way it's tuned, you might only be giving 200 pounds of torque. But the charger is expecting that at 50% pedal, you're gonna be giving 400 pounds of torque. So the transmission is already accounting for that pedal position and it's shifting as if you're giving more torque. So it's gonna hold the shift longer. It's just It just does weird things. So what I did is took the charger tables and I converted them into the Jeep tables and that made the transmission run a lot better. It made it shift better, just drivability is way better. So take a peek and see what you think. And just so everybody watching knows, I am uploading a Google Drive in the description so you can see the tables that I changed, kind of take a peek for yourself, see if you want to test it out. What I did is for a 6.4, if you got a 5.7, I would not take my numbers. I would, uh, you know, do the conversion on your own. So this is the tune that I have. We'll go into the engine. You'll go to torque management, driver demander. So engine, torque management, driver demand. And then the ones that you're going to be changing, the actual tables, you want to first off, I compared the pedal watt voltage and I made it the same as the charger. It's, mine's a 6.4, so for a 5.7 it might be a little bit different. Go off whatever vehicle you have or whatever motor you have in the car. Um, the table that we're gonna be changing is power request or power percentage request, expected pedal, and then power percentage request flywheel. So we can move this guy over here and then I have the charger 6.4 SRT um, charger pulled up. So let's say we go to power percentage request. I already did the changes, but we can go to power percentage request. I just did mode one. And you can see it's a bigger table over here, but what I did is I essentially took all these numbers, put it onto Excel and kind of made it all even. So there's the same amount of tables, so I can just copy it onto this. So if you look over at like 2.3, it's at 60%. 2.3, 60. So essentially I made these two tables the same. Then if you go to expected pedal, and then come over to the charger side, expected pedal, I had to do the same thing. I had to compress it down to fit and match the Jeep tune or whatever, uh, you know, the Challenger computer that is in the Jeep. So the other one was power percentage request flywheel. And that's the same. I had to do, do the same thing, kind of compress it down and make it uh, somewhat uh, exactly the same. So these values might be different if you're in a 5.7, you'll need to essentially copy all these numbers let's pull up an excel you can copy them right here let's go this way. <clears throat> and then what you can do is come back over here copy these numbers down here And you have to input the other side so this all these numbers so I'll go ahead and do that real quick so I can show you guys how to do it yourself you know if your tunes different from mine don't just copy my tune if you've got a 5.7 Once we have this table copied over here, you can compare it to the Jeep table 
and let's see. So you know you have 600, you have a thousand, so you can essentially get rid of the right here. You got the 600 and a thousand, so you can get rid of the 800. 1,000, 14, 50, so you get rid of the, it's almost every other, get rid of whatever ones aren't in here. 2,400, so you keep 2,400, so you'll get rid of 1,850. 3,400, so you get rid of 2,900. 42, so you get rid of 37. It's essentially almost every other. 4,250, there's no 44. 47, 50, 50, get rid of 52, 56, there's no 6,000, all right, and then going the other way on top, there's no 5,000 here, or there's no 5, you can get rid of these, if you do it on the new sheet, you can just get rid of like E up here for instance, but we don't have a new sheet, so get rid of 15, 20, 25, there's no 35, no 45, 50, there's no 55, lots of life. no 65, there's no 70, there's no 80, but the way it breaks down is, uh, you know, even if the numbers are the same, like this is 80, but that goes 70, 80, 100, 70, 90, 100. So you got to keep the 80. There's got to be the same amount of cells in there. So you can take and move these guys over. And then what you're stuck with is a table that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Since you have the same amount, you can just take this value. You copy it, and then you put it in here, and that's it's already the same because that's like literally exactly what I already did. So just in case you got it like a 5.7, and your values are different than this uh, 6.4, then uh, you can know how to at least do this. One thing I also wanted to share about the transmission shift scheduling. So over here, we'll look right at uh, aggression zero. That's where my transmission's always at when I'm not in sport mode. I made all of these tables exactly the same because it goes through table zero or goes through uh, like zero, five, 10, 15, 20, depends on like the pedal position. I made them all exactly identical. If I'm in sport mode, which my Jeep, it goes into aggression like 2, 7, 12, 17, 22. I made those also exactly the same as aggression zero. So my sport mode and my uh, regular mode, my regular mode, my sport mode, they're uh, identical just to kind of keep things very simple, but the sport mode just shifts a little bit more aggressively. All right, that's it. That's the updates for now. Make sure you check out the Google Drive. But all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you found this video useful and leave a comment on if you felt that these changes helped your Jeep. Thanks for watching.